Greetings everyone, and great here with another Comfy Rose 1 replay. So on top right side, who's immediately going for Weapon Support Center? We have Captain Fun as the other US forces with Del Fon Ka. Spawn left side as the Vermark forces with Paco, and Spawn as the other Vermark forces, we have a face. It all depends. I try to I just get replays from gamesreplay.org and it's always a mixed bag of good, bad, and weird and Calling out cheaters, which are inherently generally bad. We've got now a barracks course deployed in the field. Probably going for riflemen. Isime is going for 30 cows. I say it's a good idea to go at least for two 30 cows before eyeing for a sniper. I have no idea what he's saying. Or that. A little bit too tired at the moment, but I can't decipher gibberish. Wait, okay, I see the word sniper. Build? How does somebody manage to type like that? Like, that doesn't seem like it would... Would that mistranslate from going from one language to another language? Even then, this game would just usually just go for squares if it's another language. Ugh, I'm just tired. I'm not going to try to decipher a lot of that stuff, but either way, you got the 30 cal here. Someone's going for tank doctrine, the other one's going for a sniper, which is not a doctrine. Pioneers or engineers, nice way forward. Pioneers take a bit of damage. Now get MG42 setting it up, trying to engage. If the Jeep was quick enough, he could have pushed forward and flanked it, but he is going to get double team. His teammates' motorcycles now engage in the Jeep. Engineers do fall back, MG42 packing on up. Motorcycle on hot pursuit. Need some decent damage there. He may kill off the jeep. Secondary 30 cal is now pulling the field. Best find a region to plant them. And now we've got the pioneers there. They do spot the 30 cal, which gives a very clear indication he's going on for the support weapons center. Jeep taking some fire, but he is getting repaired. Got now the rifle squad heading down south for the winter. Jim Vaughn just way forward, motorcycle advancing. Of course, got the M242 in good uh, position there, does suppress down the engineers. Jeep takes a severe damage. The other M242 from his teammate, oh, his teammate, defensive green four, does find this rifle squad. So this guy's getting double teamed pretty badly. His teammate is quite captain the northern part of the map, which does make sense. After all, they still have to capture that. This U.S. player just may want to be a bit more defense at the moment. Takes time for units to rotate around. MG is setting on up. It does find the 30 cal, but does get flanked by the pioneers. And Shimvogen is pretty forward as well. So we got Shimvogen, motorcycle, and MGs from both players in this player. Right from the squad engagement with Shimvogen now. Up north. 30 cal does get forced back as well, so both 30 cals are falling back. Engineers push forward. Pioneers are quite wounded, but he also has support of some pioneers and a motorcycle. And the engineers do fall back. Is that a third 30 cal? Yes, it is a third 30 cal. Motorcycle heading up north. Pioneers in tow. They're just trying to capture that street point, but they will take some losses. Rifle squad fully pinned there. He does need to fall back. His teammate could try getting a mortar out. They're fighting against a lot of MGs. The problem is, he's lacking, of course, any proper frontline squad. He has not built a sniper just yet. Sniper number one now on the way. Good cal push way forward. And they know about the 30 cal, so they may want to get out of counter sniper to pull on the field sooner rather than later. I do not see a counter sniper on the field. We do have two volks on the field. Those are both the Vermont players went for a very similar build order. It's just the difference between Shimvog and Motorcycle. Yep, both of them have two Pioneers. Both of them have MG. Both of them has a light vehicle. As follows, connects onto the Motorcycle, takes it out. Medic station does get cancelled. And the 30 cal just simply gets uh, knocked around. I There's a deployment. I 
Brooks into this. Maybe retreated back a little bit too early. He could have easily just ran away. Ready. The sniper to pull in the field. And again, both goes for Vermox sniper. Exact same build order. Did the cow does get suppressed? All these guys are just gonna suppress. The M242 is in excellent position, able to walk down this advance. His teammate needs a mortar or the sniper over here. Yeah, sniper here. His rifle squad's down here. Maybe trying to kill pioneers. Enemy unit down. Enemy unit down. What it was, I'm not sure. Oh, counter sniper. So the US players. Oh, I was gonna say your first kill for sniper should be your opponent's sniper, and it looks like that may have been the case. Jim Vaughn's trying to pursue the sniper. I don't know why. It feels like snipers are treating back slower. Maybe going crazy. Probably am going crazy. Jim Vaughn does take some base MG fire. Next station seems to fire, but the medics themselves can hit. Yep, the first kill for sniper was his bullet sniper. So, albeit that was the first sniper on the field, somehow. Folks and do fall back. Pioneers are vlogging, just backing on off. And the engineers do take a bit of damage there. They know about the second Fairmock sniper on the field. Engine 4 2 firing away, suppress the flame engineers, where well, Rifle Squad does fall back as well. Greyhound, question mark. No! <laughs> Over here we've got the support, uh, support weapon center. He has gone for mortar. Just hit this NG. Sniper does connect. It's 30 cals before we forward as well. Still think it's a good idea to just plant the 30 cals up here just to make sure this area doesn't get decaptured. I don't really have much value into 30 cals. Maybe we've got idea of this US player to go for either airborne or for infantry, for either paratroopers or for the rangers. Vermock sniper way forward. There's a Vermock landmine here. Another Vermock landmine there from the same player. Very wounded pioneers. Finds a landmine. Let's see, we've got another Wehrmacht landmine from the other Wehrmacht player. Medic does pick up a casualty. That would be casualty number two. Casualty number three being picked on up. Finds a landmine. Flamethrower squad does fall back. Does he have a triage center? No, he does not. Supply yard being deployed on field. No supply yard upgrades. Nothing else being deployed on field. Your sniper. Did not get a shot off there, so he's not count on camouflage. Vermock snipers here. Handstrack rolls on this. Does get a shot there in the Grenadiers. Landmine almost takes up the medic. That's definitely not a good target for that uh, sniper. You about the sniper there, so Polly should have tried pre for the kind of snipe. Shimvogen goes down. 30 cal in good position. And the Vermock sniper trying to be a bit more aggressive. Camouflaging, uncamouflaging when appropriate. units light vehicles may now advance and capture territory so the light vehicles can now capture capture for the u.s player we have selected so he has is trying to go with the clive p point is ours what day we lock it down we'll go live people. nation sector now captured Border firing away. Bit of a blind barrage looks like. Hey, mine super to one field. 
One landmine detected. There's another two landmines here. He does spot this landmine here. Though he may have trouble getting that cleared out. He could use more to uh, barrage it. Mindstream squad has full drawn. He hopefully the sniper sees that landmine among both players at least. We got a cash recovery bunker here. Maybe good idea to plant the MG inside of it. He finds another landmine. Flame shears do take some damage. They do fall back. Private squad finds another landmine. Does fall back there. And no, he did not realize that landmine. He did rip up his Hellcat rather than Sniper. The Hellcat should be safe enough. As safe enough as somebody hitting a landmine. Black Panzer Oswin. So we got a fast Black Panzer Oswin. No Vetracy. Black Panzer Oswins do excellent when they get the Vetracy going, but does get a double kill there. Does manage gets to keep on through the building. Engine crit. Pioneers maybe nearby for repairs, such as this guy. They're very wounded. Their vision may be a little bit blurry, so may make the wilts not great. But it's there onto the Black Panther. Enemy unit down. Also one now down. Good shot there. Rolls a miss on the motorcycle. Pan track straight forward. Another very much landmine there. Sniper does get splashed a little bit by a mortar. Looks like there's a Renat Warfare on the field. Uh, looks like I did click on it. Right there. I don't know why I have trouble sometimes seeing the actual mortar tube itself. Hello, Cap straight forward. Engineers get wiped on out immediately. And an excellent cap snipe there. So this sniper has killed two snipers. So very, very good work for the first sniper on the fuel, who is usually not the counter sniper, but did counter snipe. Hello, Cap straight forward. And there is only a pan truck in the region. Off power shoot running on in from the other US players. So he has gone for infantry. All this player has gone for armor. Pantrax does connect, takes up the half track there, but just one with Hellcap and maybe dead. He does not have all of the war machine selected, finds a landmine there, so now he has a choice of. He's probably just gonna lose the Hellcat. Hellcat does go down. There's a pretty tell here. Motorcycle goes down. Cyber falls back from minimum amounts of health. Uh, having trouble moving back, he got tied up a little bit there from the engineers. And Hellcat should escape on out there. More cash is being recovered. Three and four. Our war machine is raring to go. Allied war machine is now available. He could have used that to save that one Hellcat and then dive the other. But that appears to be not the case. Ref squad will fall back. U.S. mortar advancing. Take a pretty good shot there. Multiple Hellcat. Awesome Hellcat. Rocket Squad does fall back there. Volksner's first way forward. We haven't seen any other doctrine for the Wehrmacht players. You know, we see armor and infantry, which is basically standard for 2v2s. Our front lines are collapsing. One player should probably go for Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg's a very nice doctrine. And we got the Panther on the field. That Black Panzer already go down? Huh, didn't see it go down. Must have went down to Hellcats. My bad, I probably should have seen that. Yeah, I don't know where that uh, Black Panzer died at. Incoming. 
Panther 34, got some good damage here. D crews, 30 cal once again. 30 cal firing away. This one's been recruited with rifle on the squad. And now we've got the best firestorm. So one of the very uh, players have gone for firestorm. I think it would be red since it's right here. Mortar does take a loss there. It does fall back entirely. Do we have medic stations? Yes, we got a medic station here, but it looks like he has not gone to a medic station. Nor supply yard upgrade. Supply yard level one. 30 cal moving around. Good shot there on the Hellcat. Double bounces there on the Panther. Hellcat takes another shot there. He's getting a little bit tied up on himself. He has enough munitions for allied more machines, so you could try being a little bit aggressive. And strikes free four. Do now have off and call. Oh, that's Firestorm. Right? That? One of Why the snipers is KIA. Oh, kills the sniper and the medic station and the AT gun. Or the AT gun may or may not go down. And it looks like it's not getting burned to death. No Warfers can burn guns to death. Nope, it is actually taking some damage over time. Some, not a whole lot. Here, M2. M2 now firing away. Hitting somewhere up here. He wiped out whatever squad this was. Just because the MG42. No, that's the mortar. Mortar fully destroyed there. Looks like the pioneers are salvaging the carcass. Once they get done uh, salvaging that, they can go ahead and salvage the Panthers and final drives because it needs to be replaced. And there, the Max nice Crossroads do fall back there. The only question you want at the moment. Panther, what frequency are you? Appears to be unvetted, but that can be just because of cast of vision. The oh, uh, wolf skinners are often with the one, but you see, sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can't with cast of vision. Maybe if I were to switch between the players, I probably won't be able to. And now the engineers up here. Wolf skinners are advancing. Right now, the access players do have the VP lead. That two Volksvendeers are here. And also the Panzer Shrek squad maybe trying to get inside the garrison. I'm not sure what he's saying there. Another Hellcat the field, so that would be Hellcat number five. That's a lot of heckin' cats. Pioneers for the Ford, Volksiners get a support. Pioneers of Mine Super spotted. The landmines, there are none. Pioneer squad does fall back. AT gun, see the miss there. Annexation does go down there. Bridge actually took a hit. MP40 squad join forward. They could get crushed. He's pretty, pretty far in. You see, make a bring some power shoot as well. He's not wanting to enter his one space, but he wore it on landmines. But he's a little bit out of bad formation there. Panther and AT guns are getting on back home. Got that shit too, and those AT guns well, so he may for the. What's it call it? Uh, Warframe Hat Tracks. 
One is got control. Allied War Machine's been activated, so one does get recovered. This next one may get recovered as well. Hang on, destroyed a crit there. There goes another Hellcat. This one cannot be replaced, but may go down. Carcass takes a hit, pops out a carcass. Yes, you are in trouble. Pioneers and engineers do capture the Sister VP and before two pack him up, getting on out of there. The new explorer does manage to escape off this Hellcat, so he technically lost zero and lost two. Got another pair of snipers pulled in the field. And this horse squad does fall back to the Knights Crossholders. Rough squad does hit some fire. Machine gun placement does get cancelled there. Rock squad does or MG does fall back. Double pan strike to three four. Splits fire across two targets. Does not get a kill there. It's on fallback now. He has three command points. Maybe good idea. Uh, he probably doesn't have enough command points for field repair. Or does he? Can't remember how many command points you need for field repair, but he could desperately use some field repair. He does have three pioneers, so he does have X amount of repairs. Nice crossover to fall back away from the US snipers. Good shot there. Hellcat rolls a miss. He may have access to the bombs. You do have a Vessi 2 camp on the field. And the Rock Squad gets quickly suppressed there by the MG42. Rock Squad has fallen back. Hold screen is going to get wiped out. Uh, looks like he lost a squad right here. What it was, I'm not sure. M2 Barrage raining on in. Six of its airs, the crew is rewarded. Right from squad does get the central VP and does get suppressed by the various. Oh, there's a 30 cal there, not M42. Uh, right from squad does fall back, both tuners take some hits there. The snipers will keep him from capturing that sector. Panther does pick off a sniper there, it's now efficiency 3. So it would take less penetration rate from sticky bombs and from the Pershing and takes less damage from the. Bazookas or the close strike both bazookas in this case as a possibility. We do now have a firestorm we brought on in there. He needs to get out of there. Focus the three forward. One does grip cover. Let's find some 18 gun shots. There's a lot of stuff here. Panther's almost down. Can't receive bounces there. We will lose another Hellcat. And he may lose his Hellcat as well. Does resend the bounce. Both get a destroyed engine crit there. A Clive here ran in there. Hang on destroyed crit there. Our forces are taking Goes down. Max nice Crossword is pretty forward. 30 cal looks like he will get overran. Wounded Hellcat engaging. Both Max nice Crossword do fall back. Here comes Hellcat. You know he's got destroyed engine crit there, so he's dead in the water. Hang on destroyed crit there. Now it's very dead, not in water. They're hitting one of our forward emplacements, trying to take our territory. Pack 38 rolled a miss there. Good position, versus C2. Get some good hits there. Does not manage to get any additional shots. We got the Panther Truck Squad here that could pick this guy off. Good hit there. He does take up the Hellcat there. Lucky positioning there. Operation posts report we are losing the sector. This Hellcat can withstand two Panstrike shots. Assuming they hit. Rock Squad is pinned. Now got the Thompson Rangers firing away. MP40 is getting ripped apart. Armored Company on fast deployment. 
so we do now have the Allied War Machine now available, or the Field Repair available, as well as the LIP. He does have two Calliopes in the field. Not a whole lot of everything else. No Supply Yard upgrade. Anyone want an eye for that sooner rather than later? Yeah, both Supply Yard upgrades here. Rap Squad came from the park. Rap, Rap Squad gets wiped out. We've got two got one Knights of Crossroads here. And now the Rangers not pulling them back. And send a map, got the flame engineers being pinned down. Five your rockets from raining on in. Nice cross orders. Do not Enemy get unit down. Do one that does get wiped out by the 30 cal of all things. Just got a lamb on here, slightly wounded. Another firestorm? That's not a good time. Burst artillery? That was a firestorm. That is really not worth it. Artillery now running on in. Grenadier does take a snipe. Down south, engineers do fall back as something flew away. Engineers do fall back there. Panshrek does almost wipe out the M1 AT gun. Flak 88, Vet 3, Flak 88 now deployed on the field. Flak 3, Rock Barrage bring out in. He has a bit damage on everything. His rifle squad getting ripped apart. We now have the Hellcast patrol. Nice cross soldiers advancing. Hellcast patrol forward. Allied War Machine activated once more. We've got one Vet 3 Panther getting repaired on. Flacky gets a good hit there. Off the power shoot running on in. And he's not really concerned about losing his Hellcats. He wants a Flacky Eight gone. Does get the crew. He can close down there. Well, if you may want to hit focus on Panther. All the Hellcats now down. Here comes the M2. And the Flacky Deed's actually not fully decrewed or destroyed. He does sack a Minesweep. Nope, that was not it. He does uh, use the Volks and his rear captured up. I thought he was using the Minesweep for Pioneers. Flamethrower Engineers make a pin. Fires it on up. Does get a good hit there on the Flak 88. Good hit there. Enemy unit down. And now we've got another awful power shoot running in on top of the Flak 88. Everything nearby is retreating. But he did lose a Pioneer with that shot. Why he's running out in as well. I think the Flak 88 is the crew. Probably may or may not get destroyed. One more round will use. There it goes. Fully destroyed. The last round did take it out. Uh, U.S. Sniper went down to a stray mortar, it looks like. Hello, cast for straight forward. Allied War Machine now activated. Good hits there. Panther or Hellcat does go down. This Hellcat does go down. Another Hellcat to float in the field. He's a bit low on resources, but he does have four Hellcats in the field. That's a lot of Tekken Cats. 
Nice cross orders advance wave four. 30 cal. He's in a game too. Got a best C2. 30 cal. That's a rare sight. He has no conditions for our Allied War Machine, just needs some more cooldown. Well, that's cooldown. Four under three. Engineers gain force and back by the MP40s. Of course, got the Firestorm being brought in with the MP42 again. Does take a landmine there as well. Folks, we need six minutes from the Hellcats. Oh, we got a Warframe Barrage raining on it as well. Hellcats getting peppered up a little bit. But now I'm damaged he has something. He may need to use field repair. He has one pioneer in the field. Here comes the Fly the Rock Bra, trying to do the various stuff in that region. And the AT gun may go down here. It does Enemy go down. Unit down. Panther is record. AT gun does the threat there, so we've got double vet three Panthers. Grand Air is near ran over. Double cast trucking forward. One does get a main gun destroyed right there, not dead just yet. Now focus on the single panther. Uh, the one with the main gun destroyed right finds a landmine, but the other one nearby gets a crit. Two of them does go down. We may lose all of them. This panther is very good. Don't push forward like this. They can, they can still go down. One does go down. Double miss there. This one has plenty of health. Nice falls connects. And they got destroyed the crit there. So Panther is dead in the water. And even the basically dead one does take out the uh, Panther. Does crush a couple of the red deers as well. This one, the one with the injured crit that hit a landmine. Purging reserves will now escape on out of there. So effectively, he did trade two munitions and two Hellcats for the price of two Panthers. That's probably worth it. Additional flak kitty has been pulled with you, keep on the fly here, rocket barrage. Getting a little bit of everything. Both Federacy 1 has some idle units here. Of course, you know about the level 2 supply yard. No levels of supply yard. But we have him selected, and he has a decent amount of manpower and fuel. He has enough for more Hellcat production, but he can't bring in Percy now. He does lose a Hellcat. Both uh, the Panthers are down, so maybe we're ready to get the Pershing. He starts getting some efficiency on the Pershing. It can go a lot longer way. Perhaps all the way to Berlin. Hellcat does have a good shot there. But the almost dead Pack 38. And going to short a crit there. And looks like he does man back on off in time. He has no engineers remaining. No engineers in the build queue. Almost have enough manpower. Might have to ask his teammate for a engineer. Great hit there on the grenadiers. Pershing back on top. Grab squad, charge my forward. 30 cal does fall back. Of course, got the Warp and Barrage in this region, splashing down the Flyer piece. But now he's kind of barraging there. Does get some damage on the Warp and Half Tracks. Enemy unit down. Wipes out one of the uh, Pioneers, I believe. I don't think he was happy with that Barrage. That was a lot of friendly fire. But it's there, Hello Cats charging way forward. Damage and crit there, so that one's pasted down the water. This one is literally dead. And both of them knocked down. You look here, not active. Up here, just a Shimwagon. They're out of AT, barring some Panda Shrubs. You still got Field Repair active, but this one's not currently repaired. Oh, gotta watch the friendly fire. Now it's his teammate turn to do from the fire. Does fall back there. I think he pinged there. I think both the artillery and the rest of the artillery being brought in there. Our score does fall back. And 
there goes the bunker. Carcass being salvaged. And that Hellcat does go down to the Panstrex. We got three Panstrex there. Off of power shoot running on in. 5P as well. Squad's not falling back. Rangers push way forward. And now got registered artillery being brought up as well. Hell keep the Rangers at bay. Enemy unit down. Hellcat push way forward. Got some medics here. Will the Wehrmacht medics do does get crushed by the Hellcat? Walking suppressed. I'll put shots there onto the bunker. 30 cal, capture 30 cal does take a nice mortar hit. The repair bunker starting going down. I need to try and stop it. Really nice crossroads do get crushed there. Oh, that's a little bit wounded. He may want to get some engineers. He has no engineers with you. He asks his teammate for repairs. If he asks nicely, he makes it a match forward. Right there on to the machine gun the mortar once again. 30 cal is facing upwards. Notice one pill, but you don't have to fire that uphill. 5P rock brush in. Enemy does fall back, down. does get fully wiped out there. Bunkers are alive, barely. Okay, or nope, that one goes down. Here is not straight forward, trying to get a bit of damage on these for the rifle squad. Pushing. Take a lot of damage there because the armor is exposed. Register artillery being brought on in. And that Hellcat got annihilated by the register artillery. There on the Panther, all cats and push three forward, and he's being very aggressive. He may want to slow down the pressure a little bit. Let the hell cats push forward. A lot of bounces there. Gets a pen. Almost enough finishes for your repair. Does lose a hell cat, and now got a fresh black 88. I wonder if he actually saw that. As crossover is taking some damage. And the rock squad does fall back. Losing ground out there. Hand trucks being fired. Bazookas return fire. Take one month to help on the Panther. It does get fully immobilized. Rock squad now advancing, trying to get that damage to the Knights cross orders. As cross orders do fall back. Enemy unit down. He's in grenade there in the grenadiers. Oh, and that round, I don't know how to describe it. Again, what? What? It came back. What? Repair active. Grenadiers takes a massive fire. Pershing does go down. And that was a vetted Pershing. Grenadier does take a nice hit. Vidical does fire a little bit of burst there. Panther rolls and miss there. Back again. What is that Panther doing? What the hell? Enemy unit down. Okay, so somehow this round is decides to. 
I don't know, tries to do a trick shot of some sort. There must be some sort of really, really weird angle where you're not trying to capture this point. Receives a direct hit, but does not want to do a direct angle. I have no idea what Kals is doing that. Rock Squad for its board. Rangers advancing. Full Trainers take some fire. Continuous you fall back there. Mortar will get decrewed. MP4s are advanced way forward. They are getting reinforced by this bunk here, and the bunk is not getting by super fire. Fire from the squad does throw a fragmentation grenade there, so he does have grenade research. Hellcats straight forward, one of them quite wounded. He has four Hellcats to kill, the other one maybe back at home. Yes, succeed after the tank depot. Five he's raining on in, trying to get that flat kid eight. Does get a deep through. Hellcats can be kind of short the gun itself. Rack Squad does get suppressed there, does fall back now. And the bunker does go down. And the fire there. Grandiers move around, bit of damage on the Sherman Calliope. Mortar is falling back. Hellcat with a great help straight forward. This must be, yep, off my combat group, so it has 50 cal on top of the Hellcat. He immediately takes some hand strike fire. Hellcat does go down. Grandier's not flying back. Oh, got another flight pencil. Also, there's RC3, so it's very, very deadly. Got two pencils here. Basically, a full health. Allies are, have a lot less VPs than the Axis players. Allied field repair has been active. Because I feel these uh, Hellcats to full health. This Hellcat charges way forward. Does get some good rearm hits there, but the Panthers have 20 health remaining. Out of control. Hellcats charge way forward. They are full health, thanks to field repair. Off of power shoot now raining on in. Hang on to short crit. Enemy you death crit there. Hellcat may go down one shot. Nope, the other panther does go down to fly a beat. Right near catching such a point. And we just had the flak pants awesome remaining. Very, very little health. Let's get spotted by that rifle squad. Hell, Antrix suit from that takes out one of the Hellcats. Hang on a short crit there, death crit there. I see two Hellcats. This Hellcat's been nice and fetid. So keep him alive, can go. They can go. They can be very nice. You have maybe got to have him go for an engineer to get some repairs. He does have an engineer for some repairs. Both his clients are fetid suit too as well. Grenade does get dodged. And I've got a stick grenade there. Rendier squad does fall back. Very short to be brought up in. One of the US players did pass on GG. Maybe a little bit too early for that. And man got a short of crit there. He's trying to crush. Does this hell catch the Grenadiers? Damage to crit here. Loading little down. Three guys remaining. Three pan tricks up. Uh, six hits there. Firestorm being brought on in. Source of surprise we don't hit a V1 just yet. Oh, that's actually a 20 centimeter rocket barrage. Got two M2s here. Both of them have off. These guys are actually probably too close. I think a single V1 right here could kill off both of them. So they need to push forward, spot it, and then bring the one. Got multiple AT guns in the field. Shimbog in there. Move a little bit slow. FC3. Attack 
At 3, 80 gun does send a bounce there. Clock 88 being built. Good shot there. Clock 88 almost complete. It is now complete. Does it hit there from the Hellcat? It does hit some uh, pass files there. Enemy unit down. And the Black Eddie immediately goes down. Does it have two Hellcat here? Greyhound in the region. Buy some fire support for that Ranger. Does use propaganda war to stop the thief cap for that point. Even a little bit overkill. I think it would be better for him to save that munitions up for the V1, as mentioned. Though actual reality. Looks like a firestorm may have been brought in there for 20 city Morocco barrage, but we did see it get cast up here recently. So I'm thinking that this was a firestorm. That Shinvaga that we saw early must have went in and spotted. As the Shinvog is currently not alive, Volts engaging the engineers. Our forces are taking casualties. Those was a helicopter there, Pershing, unvetted. Enemy unit. Pershing, casualty one, gets a wipe on one of the Panzerstruck squads. One of his teammates' rifle squad would love to pick up the Panzerstruck. Does take up the Greyhound, low priority target, honestly. Maybe a good idea if the infantry player just plant the Greyhound up here to prevent the points from being decaptured. Panzerstruck on the ground. A uh, nice crossword to pick up Panzerstruck. I don't think I've ever seen somebody pick up a pan strap with a nice crosshorse before. How well do they use a pan strap? Good grenade hit there. And now they're starting to fall back. Enemy unit down. Hellcat push the record. He says he'll make two snipers. Might as well go for a supply yard upgrade. It'll go benefit him now because when his population is getting a little bit higher. Let me sure trying to pair up the Pershing, his teammates Pershing. Now got these units heading up north. And this harvest squad has captured the southern VP. Nice cross orders, NT40 is advancing way forward. Uh, I tend to uh, stream Age of Empires 3 replays on Fridays. So if you want to see some live Age of Empires 3 replays, that would be perfect time. And if you have uh, any replays you want me to cast, anything in particular, just send me a message or an email. A rifle squad does fall back there. Perhaps with a copy of the replay or a location of the replay for me to download. Enemy unit down. When mortar hits there onto the Grenadier, rifle squads advance way forward. Oh, also... Yep, I do a lot of RTSs. Oh, and tomorrow, if you're interested, Age of Mythology Retold. Seeing that's a brand new game, you're not sure if that's on your radar yet. As I've only done that once. Good hits there. A rifle squad moving around, catching the various sectors. We have the AT gun creeping on back. Shimwagen creeping his way forward. Allied war machine has expired. AT gun camouflage here. Panther advancing his way forward. A rifle squad decapturing these various sectors. And here comes the M2. The enemy is down to 300 points. Bounce there with the Panther Shrek. Panther does get a decent hit there. 
Rangers, Ark, and a bit of damage there. MP40 squad being nice and close to them. It is a bit too Ranger, but of course, with the bazookas, they don't really transfer the weapons around at all. And so he actually had both the bazooka models up and going, so they actually had a lot of damage reduction when they start dropping models. We do, excuse me, we got the rifle squads falling on back, getting a lot of friendly fire. Tyler cast straight forward with the pushing. Panther here can get easily overran. Allied, uh, field repair has been activated. Who the hell cats immediately goes on down? We've got pack 38s in back line. A good firing line there. Plus the nice crossroads with panda tracks. And I don't know how effective he was, but it seemed like they was firing a panda track, which makes sense. And Sniper does pick the BP. Potion taking severe damage. Needs to keep on running. Potion does go down. Hellcat rotating around. Panther perfect four. Oh, this Hellcat does get a nice pen there. Sniper's following him back. We got the mortar existing. And not doing anything. He's not even firing. There you go. He's doing something now. Damage is right there on the Hellcat. Does crush one of the models there. And the Panther does go down. ET gun. Main gun short of crit there. As nice crossroads do fall back. Bounce on the Hellcat. Got very unlucky with that. Crossroads pushing forward. Heads falls there. And main gun destroyed crit there. And there's a death crit. YP raining on in. Hitting everywhere around the AT gun. That's the problem was firing uphill. When you fire up uphill, the scatter's not great. Especially the uh, units on the other side of the hill as well. Thank you for the follow or YouTube subscription. I think that was you. Welcome to the channel. Right from the squad. Does throw a fragmentation grenade there. AT gun does eat quite a bit of it. Wasn't too spicy for them. Pineapples tend not to be spicy. And now the right squad does drop a bar. May get wiped out there. Again, they're speaking a weird language. I have no idea how their language can butcher it up like that. Enemy unit down. Uh, it said enemy unit down, but it was. I'm not sure. Rap squad three four with a flamethrower. So the AT gun should be wiped out. Volksrendeers do not find the snipers. He does manage to headbutt the Volksrendeers. They do flinch. Also, he could have got a crush there. I don't know why. If he would have pushed forward, it seemed like he would have got a pretty good crush. All of these forces now falling back. I didn't think he needed to fall back there. Got some drop bars there, so these units could try picking up. Oh, and here comes a pull IP. I think the armor player is saving up for the Pershing. YP is getting some decent damage, does pick up a bar there. But overall, not a lot of model drops there. Central VP is catching up with the allies. Got two very US snipers on the field. Do you see any counter snipers? Yes, we do have a fresh counter sniper. You know, like I say, your first snipe kill of your sniper should be your opponent's sniper. Miss there. Miss there. Hellcat streams way forward. Sniper does Enemy decrew it, so down. safer to advance, but still he is wounded. Panthers Enemy does a good hit two. there. A couple sniper shots there. One miss, one hit. And the sniper's all falling back. Hellcat's knocking on the Volk's Grenadiers. Panther has taken some damage. Hellcat does go down. Volt or Knight's Crossroads advance nice way forward. Taking some damage. The rifle squads meeting them in glorious combat. Couple grenades there. Got some good damage on those Knight's Crossroads. I he's going to Enemy blow up this Ranger down. bit. All the Knight's Crossroads are beautiful. Back, maybe. I don't think either. Yeah, none of those Knight's Crossroads got wiped out. And now, here's her registered artillery. Oh, 
Hello, Casper, your forward. The wounded panther here. Double bounce. Rear armor exposed. You know it's a big cat. You should uh, rotate around like that, like a regular cat, when you're trying to pet one. Bolts push way forward. This hello cat needs some repairs. No engineers in the field for this player. Other than the build queue. Most have gotten most of the nice crossroads got double Vermont sniper. He kills two kills. They are known. US snipers are back here. MP40 is push way forward, but does the cap does recap the M180 gun. Rocket squad push way forward, he's trying to get shot here. But the bar rifle squad should be able to Enemy through it. Down. That was get fully destroyed there. Jim Vaughn goes down. And we've got the Pershing here. Still got the two M2s, and I still believe that one ball place V1 shot here could wipe up both of them. This one's actually pretty close to being destroyed as well, so right there should just destroy this one. Probably just decrease this one, may destroy it. I honestly don't know the kill radius of the M2 from V1. Oh, propaganda war there. Force back three units. One US sniper still on the front line. Let's get a shot off there. Driver squad falls on the back. So that one gets wiped on out. Rangers firing away. Some of these nice crossroads did to do fall back, getting pretty wounded there. Pershing needs serious repairs. The that 3T gun gets a bit damage on boom. Still no supply yard upgrades. Enemy unit down. Ah, oh, looks like this guy went down there. Pioneer. Folks for nearly some damage. Snipers get flinched by the artillery. Good shot there. Double miss there, so got unlucky there. They also vet three as well, so got really unlucky. Now it's kind of the last number of other snipers, and they both go down. Plus that squad there as well. Yeah, that's really unlucky for that counter snipe. Squads pushing forward, and register artillery and propaganda war. Rock squad could pick up the bar. Actually, it sounds like they don't, yeah, but they do have two bars. They can get a third. Sergeant, get an MG on the roof of this tin can. It's time to shred some crap. German tank now pull on the field. I do like Sherman tanks. Flak 88 to pull on the field. I do like Flak 88s, unlike many people. <laughs> Not unlike, unlike many people. Let's see, let's show the carcass there so it doesn't get any salvage. Nice crossroaders push way forward. Engineers and flamethrowers push way forward. Grenade, get a bit of damage there. Collide your rocket barrage raining on in. Lots of damage there. Enemy unit down. does get a full squad wipe on one of those nice cross holders. I believe that's the Panther Strike squad. Yeah, he actually dropped the Panther Strike as well. This engineer could pick up the Panther Strike and perhaps fire it against the Flak 88. Again, I have no idea what they're saying. Both players sound like they're a pop cap. Again, supply yard upgrades is something you still need to utilize. Sniper does get a shot there. And there. Split his fire so the pioneers can fall back. Sherman tank takes some fire. 
Sherman tank taking severe damage. Balances a Black 88 shot there. Did not realize Sherman's can black bounce Black 88s. I mean, Sherman tanks are actually pretty well armored for that day and age. The enemy is down to 100 points. Good affair, not active. Rock squads before, trying to destroy this and finish the sector. Got a panther on this rifle squad. Rock squad does fall back. No panther shot there. goes down and looks like the X player is going to cast the GG. Yep, and now they're starting back game. So let's fast forward. And that is the end of the replay. This is Angrade saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.